an organization is called the Voice of Muslim Youth. Um, the idea behind this organization is pretty much um, promoting youth leadership. And how we do that is by mobilizing them to help the community itself. And therefore, we have, uh, we're killing um, uh, one, uh, two birds with one stone, pretty much. So that's educating the youth to how to become leaders. And at the same time, by them doing that, we're helping our community. So that's pretty much the goal of our organization. And we're concentrating, concentrating more on social issues. Um, such as what we heard today, um, such as education, such as uh, foster care, such as mental health, um, youth and crime, um, all those uh, good things you could say. So what, 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 do you, what would you say the process of leadership development is for education? Um, the thing is, we are a grassroots organization, so we're in the process of actually stabilizing ourselves and uh, figure out exactly what our vision is and our mission is. Um, so you leadership, what I consider, what my dream is for Bomi in the future, is having an organization where uh, the youth come, they are involved in their community, they are strong, they are staying off the streets and crime, um, they are educated, they are level-headed, and also they are making the world a better place, um, not only in Canada, but around the world. And there was a question here about being engaged with politics and maybe being part of a party or, or running. Me? No, no, for well, it was for me. Yes, yeah. <laughs> for me, um, I'm very interested in politics. Uh, definitely, um, if I'm considering being part of an organ politic um, party, um, for now, I there's not one party that I agree with. There is some parts that I agree from each party, and there's a lot of parts that I don't. I disagree with them. Um, so if I'm ever going to run for anything, it's going to be as individual or in, yeah, individual, right? Right, and independent. independent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, I think like when you asked that question, and they were responding about how they were involved, and um, it just seemed it, it gave the audience, I think, or participants, a, a better understanding that you can you can go in and you can kind of like you can influence it. Mm -hmm. You can have a say, you can help shape or steer what the party does. No, it's important that, because uh, a lot of people, to be honest with you, in the Muslim community don't feel that they, they are welcomed in the uh, in political process. Um, they have a lot of distrust and mistrust uh, in the political system. Um, they always are in arms, like they're always worried, oh, okay, when are they going to attack us? So when is the law going to change? When are they going to say, oh, okay, all Muslims are, I don't know, they're just worried. Um, so it's important to know that actually Muslims can get involved. And I encourage a lot, lot for the Muslims to get involved. Because the only way that we're going to make a difference and have our voices heard is if we get involved and we raise our voices. That's why we call this organization Voices of Muslim Youth. It's for them to raise their voice and to say, hey, listen, we matter, we exist, and we want a difference, and we want to make a difference. Very much. Yeah. What were your highlights, you think, from uh, the, 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 the what, what interests me, pretty much, yeah. um, and the questions that were asked? Um, one of the, in the questions that I was very much interested in was the education part, because I worked in the private, the private school, Islamic school. Um, and I really didn't like their answers. It, it just bothered me because I, did, I don't think they answered it quite fairly. They just said, no, at this point, we're not offering any funding. Hey, how about my tax, per how about my tax money? Why can't I have a choice in that? Why can't I use my tax money to go to the Islamic school? Why can't every parent that's their child as attends the, the Islamic school have their money go to their school? Um, it, they're just very against it. I don't know what the conservative party is going to say about it, um, but uh, I, I I was really disappointed in, in that in that question. Um, the other one that was really interesting to me was the uh, youth in crime. As like Shelby said, they were very evasive about the, that question also. So pretty much <laughs> the questions that mattered to me was not answered to my liking. So I have to make more research in what they have to say for me to make a decision on where I'm gonna, who I'm gonna vote for. Yeah, and it, it's just the whole system is like, yeah. like you're saying, there's parties. They might like you might like part of what they say, but mm -hmm. overall, they aren't they are for you. So yeah, it does it does tend to maybe um, alienate people from the whole process. 
a lot of people are feel a little alienated by the, the whole process system and the process of political process. Um, but our goal is for for me to go actually out into the community and make the community know that listen, if you as a collective community get together and say, you know what, this time we're gonna all vote together, <laughs> even though I should not encourage that, it should make a difference. <laughs> it should make a difference. Uh, because in ourselves, we're not united. So we need to unite. We need to figure out what our causes are, figure out what our issues are, and say, okay, which par party helps us more? We have to be selfish in that way, I guess. Anything else? <laughs> At the moment, uh, come and join Vomi. <laughs> that's all I have. Is, is, there, is there a website? Or yes, contacts? it's uh, Vomi Ottawa. So that's V O M Y Ottawa at uh, yahoo.ca. Okay, so an email address. Yes. Yeah. Oh, the event was great. Actually, the event, if people knew how great it was, um, I know with YouTube, we're, we're going to try to uh, put it all over, but it, it, it was great. It was. It's good to know. It's, it's something. I'm sure now they're just wondering, okay, so what are they going to do next? Or uh, uh, really, are they really that awake, the youth, uh, the Muslim youth? Because I don't think politicians realize that there's a whole wave of youth, Muslim youth, who are actually pretty awake. So <laughs> you better start paying attention because uh, it's coming. <laughs> so I thought it was a great, great, great uh, first step. Hope to do it again.